Hello, welcome back to Georgie's Bees, Cards and Stuff. Nearly forgot my name then. And today I'd like to show you how I made this card. Right, this card is for my card pals. As the month of March is green. And this is what I've come up with for this month's card. Now, I've used the stamp set Forever Fern. And I've used that stamp splatters dot stamp and to a friend that makes me smile I have got a card base of eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths scored at four and one eighth folded in half and it needs burnishing I have a piece of oh sorry this is Mossy Meadow, yeah, and I have a piece of old olive at five and seven eighths by th no five and five eighths by three and seven eighths. I have a piece of the Forever Fern DSP, and this one is at five and a half by three and three quarters. I have a piece of Mossy Meadow at two and three eighths by four and a piece of the opposite the other side to this paper at two and a half by three and seven eighths and I have a piece of old olive at two and a half by three eighths and that's going to go on there and a piece of white at two and three eighths Oh, two and yeah, two and three eighths by three inches. We'll go on there like that, and then I have some scraps, mossy and white for the little sentiment. So first of all, what we're going to do is I'm going to stick all these down. The only thing that's on dimensional is the sentiment. The rest is all stuck down flat. Also need a piece of white card by five and five eighths for three and seven eighths for the inside, which we're going to stamp on. Well, I don't think I should the other side of that paper. Oh, this is another piece of DSP. I thought it was the same paper. And that's going to get glued on there. Like that. In the middle to the left. We've got to stamp on that so we can't do that and we've got to stamp on that and we've got to stamp on the inside right let's bring some paper in got our stamp and we've got our mossy meadow ink And this one we're just going to put up there, like that. The same as the inside. We'll just 
stamp that like that. Now the sentiment I am just going to put there. I think I've got it upside down. Oh, I haven't. It's not very straight. Let's try it again. That's better. Right. Oh no. Yeah, I don't need this. I've got to put some splatter dots along these around these leaves. That's it. I do. That is our stamping done. Another quick card. So this will get glued onto the old olive. It's only a quick card because I've got everything cut out and ready. That's what I say. And this is going to go on there like that, flat. So we. Glue this on there. And we'll glue this inside. I never write inside the cards when I send them to my card pals. I just write a little note for them. thing we need to do is put the lid on my glue and bring my little trimmer out and we're going to trim this off. Sounds like the person. There's our sentiment. We'll stick that on there and then we'll cut round it by hand. Leave a little border all around. Now we have our sentiment conformity card then, which I'm going to place down there. But that will go on dimensionals. Like that. I'm going to place that. And there is our card for Moira or Sam, my two card bows. Hope they like them. They do. If you like them, give us a thumbs up. 
If you'd like to see more of my cards, please subscribe. And if you press the bell icon, you'll be notified of any more videos I upload, which is usually on Monday, Wednesday and Friday. All I can say is thanks for visiting, and I hope to see you again soon.